Cancer, how you doing? Welcome to your Astro Flower reading going from the 14th through to the 20th of August. This is week three in August and if you've been watching the monthly readings as well, as well as the Lion Gate readings as well, um, <clears throat> you'll know that it's all about manifestation. And manifestation is not just sitting around waiting for it to turn up. Manifestation is also getting involved and getting involved with the work, the nitty gritty, positioning ourselves following things in a particular way in order to get the best out of life. And I've noticed with these readings this week, it all seems to be about the finer details, a lot of little details that are creating that work in order to get what you want. And this is a week to concentrate on it. So let's just see what's going on with your overall energies. I hope you have a lovely reading. Nine of Pentacles, yes, I think you are now coming into full, full flow. I think you have a lot of possibilities, and this is great for your manifestations, basically. Um, and these possibilities are also connected with communication, and it's connected with everything that is around you. Um, so it's connected with the environment, it's connected in what people are saying around you, coincidences and that sort of thing. That's where the overall energy is really trying to help you on loads of different fronts. So um, yes, it's going to need a bit of concentration um, and it's going to ask for you to be present in your life. But I think it's going to be, uh, I think the possibilities are really there. Let's just see what's going on in your relationship side on the, com on the karmic message here. You have the lover's card here. Is that not good? Absolutely brilliant. Um, it is the karmic, karmic path. So your karmic path could be to fall in love with someone. But it's also a degree of falling in love with yourself and realising how good you are. I think that's really important for you, Cancer. But definitely... I'm getting that there's a possibility of meeting someone that just makes you go, oh, yeah, oh, they connect, you know, they, they correspond to me in so many different ways. Um, but there is a degree, for those of you who are already in relationships, it's about falling in love with life. But I've got a funny feeling it's all about falling in love with another person. And um, if, if you're in a couple already, it could be just falling again in love with your partner. That's what love's all about. You just keep falling in love with them. <laughs> Let's just see how the universe is trying to influence this lover's card. You get the king of pentacles. There's a lot of security coming in with this. You've really got into the rhythm now, um, Cancer. You've really got into the rhythm. You've got the king of pentacles here. This is all to do with all uh, to do with family, friends as well. The security within all of that. It's also a security of knowing through work already done and things done in order for you to get the best out of life or provide for you the best security within any relationships that you've got around you. I think it's providing good things for you and makes you feel really good, uh, makes you feel a lot very secure. And I think the universe is bringing in that around you as well, uh, bringing it to you, this security. What do you get for the past to the present? Yeah, temperance. Yeah, I think you've been patient. As I said, I think, after your, just after your birthday season, it's a bit sort of like, it's almost as if you were running the engine with the choke out. So there's too much air in the system. It's occasionally just going to go blah, 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 and not really firing on all cylinders. And I think that's, you know, you've had to be patient in the past. Um, and I think that patience is now turning into it's, you know, you're, you're getting a sort of like the wheel of fortune sort of coming up in and now it's blowing in your favor because you're firing on all cylinders. Ah, <laughs> oh, wheel of fortune moment. I'll just stop there, shall I? I'll just stop there. I'm not going any further. You know, I think it's, I think things are really turning into your favor here. Wheel of fortune, yes, I think. If you're looking for love, it's definitely on the cards here. Uh, the possibilities here, have, and I think it comes out of the blue in a way. And I think it's, I think it's going to be quite surprising how quickly it happens, um, like lightning. You know, it's it, that's the sort of thing. It could be really like lightning here, and it could well be like a chariot card that comes. I'm now trying to provoke the card, the chariot card that's coming out. Ah, out with the old and in with the new. This is good for me you know, very, very fast ace 
card here with the uh, Ace of Wands. Very passionate. I think it's just, it's the passion just takes you. And it's just kind of like, it's almost like you kind of go, oh, what the hell? Come on then. Let's do it. Let's go. You know, let's fall in love sort of thing. And it's like getting involved in a very passionate way with a new relationship and a new situation. Beautiful, beautiful cancer. Really, really chuffed for you here. Um, it's, as I say, I think you're firing on all cylinders uh, and things are really turning into your favour, certainly in the relationship side. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see what's going on on the financial side. Yeah, Seven of Cups, following the evident path. Um, if it's working for you, follow it. Uh, if it makes you feel good, follow it. Um, you know, if you're having to, if you're having to row hard against the current, I would, you know, think about changing direction. You know, think about what you're doing. It should be evident for you here at the moment. And I think this is your karmic path. If you want to manifest things coming up, you need to follow that karmic path. Um, sort of evident path for you. It's evident that I should be doing that. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be the easiest, and that's not what I mean about rowing against the tide. I just think, um, you know, um, uh, it, let's let's just say um, I wanted to open up a restaurant. I, you know, I, I could be really passionate about it. I'd love restaurants. A cafe would probably be better for me. Um, you know, I'd love opening up a cafe love all the things going with it, but it doesn't negate the idea that it's going gonna, it's gonna to be work as well. There's work involved in it. Um, that's what I mean, sort of like, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean it's the easiest path, but at the same time, it's going to be flowing in your direction. That's the thing. And it is because it seems like you're, you're firing on all cylinders, as I say. You know, you get the Hierophant card coming in from the universe as well, this is a unification card. This is one of my most favourite cards out of the lot. It's through understanding the practices, religious practices. And this doesn't necessarily mean going and going to church or going to the mosque or the synagogue or the, or the temple. <coughs> it means being um, doing things religiously in your workspace. You know, getting you unified to what you want to be doing, what you want to be manifesting here, what you want to be creating in your career path, in your business and in your project. And, and you know, if you need to do something, the same thing every day, just go ahead and do it. Do it and do it and do it again, you know, and it will breed success for you. What's coming from the past to the future? What's connecting the past? Yeah, I think you sort of, as I say, I don't think you were firing on all cylinders. That's why you got the temperance card over on that side, and you've now got the five of pentacles on this side. You may have felt like you got shut out of something, or you were hard done by something, or you, you know, you might have had a loss of money in the past, um, or you might have been a little bit skint, as we would say in the UK, which means you haven't, you haven't got a lot of money, brassic. Um, that sort of thing. But it's a blessing in disguise because that gave you the space in order to be absolutely clear with yourself about what you want going forward. Um, and what is the forward? What is the future thing looking for you? You've got this seven of swords. So you've got two sevens on this side. And I think this is where the manifestation is really coming into play. I think on the relationship side, it's almost as if like, you can do it with your eyes shut. It's like you, it's going to be so much fun. You just follow the fun and it's going to be brilliant. On the material side, I think this is where the work comes into play, where you've got to um, do the work in order to put into place the foundations of the manifestations of what you want to be what you want to be doing. Um, and two sevens here is is a real realization, revelation number for me. So it's revealing to you what you need to do. And here it's revealing to you how to play smart. And I think it's playing smart according to the past as well, to sort of say, I don't want to be in this situation. I don't want to um, also expose my weaknesses. I want to play to my strengths. And some of your strengths will be preempting things and disarming situations so you can actually get the most out of it. You can pull the biggest amount of profit out of the situation. Um, what's the overall future for your uh, material path? We will be clarifying with the Light Sears card. We get the Five of Wands. Yeah, Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Seven of 
seven of cups, seven of swords. You've got all the elements here for manifestation. On the magician's card, on the table of the magician, the magician has everything on his table. So he has the pentacles, he has the cups, he has the swords and he has the wands. And here you have exactly the same thing. And it's sort of saying, from the past, do not focus on your weaknesses and pull yourself out of um, confrontations that are not really worth it. Or uh, situations, you're pulling yourself out of situations that have just been dragging you down as far as I can see because you've been playing smart and you've realized a lot of things within your life and this is going to help you to manifest exactly what you want uh, on your financial side I think there's a lot more work on your financial side than on your relationship side you know uh, work hard and play hard Okay, we're going to clarify with the light seers card here. Thank you very much for your support that you give this channel. Liking, commenting, um, subscribing and sharing across all media platforms. That's really important. Uh, that helps us out and helps us to be seen by a lot more people. Um, you know, just sharing it with family and friends. Just stick it on an email. There are loads of people and sort of saying, hey, you know, fellow cancer, you should really go and have a look at this. Um, so, yeah. It'd be, um, be really good. There's also loads of links in the description below that if, uh, so you can book up a private healing with myself or a, a private reading. Uh, there's also an email because I'm going to be giving energy workshops in the UK in September, October and the energy workshops in the US. There's a lot of people already answered to that email um, and uh, information will be coming out by this week. Uh, within this week's reading here. So if you want to be part of that, send us an email. It's an absolutely fantastic weekend. Uh, and I'll tell you where your local workshop is to you. Uh, let's just see what's going on. Nine of Pentacles, we get clarified with the Ten of Wands. If you want these possibilities to happen and to really uh, seize the moment, you're going to have to lighten your load. Um, not to carry too much, not to... Um, you know, um, burden yourself with the possibilities. Because sometimes, you know, there could be so many possibilities that, you know, you're, it's like, excuse me a second. There's so many possibilities that it actually causes a lot of stress and strain and makes you feel like you're overburdened. So just be wary about that. Maybe not every opportunity is, should be taken right away. Uh, and knowing when to take your opportunities is really important. With the lover's card, you get the two of wands. I think you need to travel. I think you need to move. Uh, you know, falling in love with life, and it's maybe um, it could you could be falling in love with someone from a distance. Um, but it's also a fact that you've got to plan this as well. Um, you've got to plan this this connection with another person. You got to, there's there's some sort of planning involved here. Um, that if you're gonna if you're gonna do things, um, you're gonna have to. And you, if you want to fall in love, you know it's gonna need some form of orchestration. Uh, with the King of Pentacles, you get the Three of Pentacles. Good quality work. I think the universe is recognizing that. Yeah, you have done the the background work on yourself in order to for you to get firing on all cylinders, and you're gonna be attracting a lot of things and good quality information good quality situations good quality activities connections with people um that's the card i dropped earlier on actually funnily enough with temperance cards you get the seven of swords which you've got over there as well so it's doubling up as well uh did you get the three of pentacles no um seven of swords so playing smart and i think it's playing smart about how you've been patient about this about your love life about your relationships. You've been very, very patient. And I think that's your smart, I think that's the smart side of it all. You know, not rushing in, in the past. Now your fortunes are changing. What's happening for you? Six of wands, yes. I wanna say stardom, but stardom in the sense that I think there's a lot of people around you that's gonna recognize your really beautiful energies um and you know make and put you on not put you on a pedestal but really put you up there make you you know like the prize catch as it were and you are the prize catch and you should take that rightful place uh for you within your relationships really nice nice card there with the ace of wands 
you get the um, the empress. Everything is possible. Giving birth or creating a whole new world, creating a whole new cycle, creating a whole new situation, or creating a whole new love, basically, within your life. And it's going to be very, very passionate and connecting everything that goes along with it. You know, uh, let's just see what's going on with the seven of cups on your on your material side you get the moon following the evident path will lead you into the unknown and i think you've got to be prepared to do this if you want to manifest the ultimate for your job your business and your projects um you've got to you know Go a little bit out of your comfort zone. You know, explore a few um, sort of um, energies that are not necessarily um, you're accustomed to within the workspace, you know. Uh, and I think it's exploring new avenues as well through the evident path. What's the Hierophant bringing in there? The Two of Cups. Whatever way you're going here, it always seems like you're falling into alignment with yourself. And I think the universe is doing this, that if you... As I said, you know, if you, with due diligence, apply that sort of things in your life that you need to do in order to manifest your beautiful future, um, you're going to be in alignment with yourself, with your higher self as well. And I think it's going to make you very satisfied uh, about what you're doing. With the Five of Pentacles, you get the Fool. Yeah, letting go of the past, you know, letting go of your um, weaknesses. Yeah, I do believe it's going to push you into um, uh, parts of life that you may feel a little bit uncertain about, uncomfortable about, out of your comfort zone. But in a nice way. I don't think it's in a nasty way at all. I think it's in a really, really nice way. It's going to set you off on a path of discovery, basically, as you go forward. With the Seven of Swords, you now get the Seven of Wands. All of those sevens down there. We've got all the sevens out now. Look, because we've got the seven of swords over there, seven of cups and seven of swords. Oh, seven of swords over there again. We haven't got the seven of pentacles. It might come out as yet. There's one more card to come out. But this is a uh, seven of wands. Playing smart is protecting yourself and being honest and um, sort of not taking crap from anyone else that is around you in a way. Um, being sure about where you're going, what you're doing, and that's what the evident path is going to give you. It's going to give you that confidence and that assurance within you in order to do what you've got to do in order to get to where you want to be. Um, what's this five of wands about? I wouldn't be surprised if the devil doesn't turn up there really more than anything else. No, you get the king of swords. This is a really nice card. This is moving away from conflictual sort of situations and striving to be the best example of yourself and having that victory of being learning how to be the best of yourself and taking a particular direction. Um, and that direction is straight in front of them. You know, the Queen of Swords is looking to one side. The King of Swords is almost looking straight in front of them. And I think this has to do with the evident path as well. And the evident path comes out of, in the future, comes out of judgment. You've judged this correctly. You've created this correct, correctly. You've manifested things as you see fit and as you should have done, basically. Um, and there's a lot of communication there as well that comes out of it. And it's all setting it up this week on the financial sort of side. On the relationship side, wow, yeah, just go for it. Just go for it. You know, be that star, be that diva, or be that Dieu, that God, you know. What's a male diva? Because obviously diva is in is in Latin. That's that's goddess. You know what's what's the Latin for diva? Is it? <laughs> but anyway, you know, go for it, go for it. Whatever you do, cancer, just go for it. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for the support that you give this channel. It's absolutely beautiful. Don't forget about all those links in the description below. Uh, I will see you soon. In the meantime, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.